today I decided to take with me two different roads at least for this spot in this way I will be able to change the lures a little bit faster but also I want to try again <laughs> a lighter setup for the for the asp I will just go with this crazy color on my main setup and I will just put some natural color on my light almost ultralight setup now considering that it's still quite dark I will just make a few casts with this over here today it's cold it's cold and kind of windy and I can definitely say that it doesn't feel like spring at all I will just try to make a couple of casts from here and who knows hopefully some ass will be here <laughs> so that was the first hit for this morning I think that it was quite a small guy but at least that was an ass Come on, that's the second strike that I'm missing today. They are hitting again the lure in a very strange way, even though I've put a natural color in this case. Whew. Yes. Whew. That was a strange hit for an asp. He took the lure really, really slowly. And that thing, it's putting some concern. Because in this period, they usually go like crazy for the lures. Yeah, that's a nice asp. Even though it's a nice asp, I won't make any photo right now. Thank you. Whew. The conditions are far from being the best for the asp. Consider that I missed two of them that took my lure really strange. Also this third one that I caught was kind of a strange hit I'm not very sure about what to expect from now on I will just insist a little bit more with this natural color at least for the next 10 to 15 minutes and if nothing happens I will just continue switching blurs and colors and hopefully some other ass will be interested No! <sighs> that 
that felt like a big fish. I think that that was a catfish. Whew. Yes, finally. It just switch the lures and here it comes. And on this almost ultralight setup, the smallest asp <laughs> seems <laughs> much much bigger. <laughs> Come on here, buddy. I will just unhook you as fast as I can and you're ready to go oh it's having a big wound in here thanks a lot <laughs> there are almost three hours that I'm insisting in this spot and I did everything that I know to catch some asp I even fished a lot more than an hour with some ex like this with some extremely small lures that I usually won't fish for the asp like this one over here and still they are not responding as I was hoping them to respond so right now I will just release this asp over here and I will go to a second and the third spot that I want to try today there are some new spots haven't been in there so come on here buddy I'm not very sure this road I have no control on the fish come on here we go as I was saying I'm planning to visit two spots that I haven't fished before so after releasing this asp over here I will just go over there hope to catch something thanks a lot buddy that was a nice hit here we go This part over here wasn't part of the plan, but uh, I just saw it from the car. It was looking quite okay, so I have to give it a try. Yeah, I have to go down there because the spot is looking really, really good. And I don't plan to spend more than 10, 15 minutes at maximum to see what's going on over here. Yeah, the spot is looking quite okay and should hold some asp. I can see plenty of mullets in that area over there. And that spot over there is looking just great for the asp. So, come on. It would be really nice. No, right now it's a boat, it's coming. Ha! <laughs> Nice. Even though I'm not sure if this is an asp, I'm quite sure that yeah, that's a mullet. That's a fault hook mullet. I just switched to a heavier lure because I wanted 
to cast a little bit further from that point over there and yeah it looks like on my way back I found this little guy over here and I will just unhook him as fast as I can chill buddy are you ready? thank you <laughs> Okay now, I have fished all that area over there and after checking Google Maps I saw that uh, the second spot that I'm planning to fish today it's in that point over there, so it's reachable by foot. So considering this right now I will just walk and cast, walk and cast until I reach that point that I don't have any idea how it will be or if I'll catch anything because as I already said I haven't been there before but uh, let's say that I have some high hopes and I usually enjoyed a lot fishing some new spots so let's go Yes, that was nice. Ooh, and it also feels like a good fish. No, it's not that big, but definitely the current is helping him. Come on here, buddy. <laughs> it's a big current in here. And that fish definitely feels much, much bigger. And it is. Come on here buddy, I don't want to fall in the water. So I'll just use the net to be sure that I won't have any kind of surprise. So this is the fish. Nothing big or anything special, but it's always, always nice to catch a fish first time that you're visiting a spot. Come on! Are ready, buddy? Thanks a lot! Nice! Okay, I'm kind of done with this spot at least for today. There are some guys that are fishing in there and I just don't want to disturb them. For obvious reasons I haven't been able to fish this spot properly and I haven't insisted enough but uh, without any doubt I will be back here. For me it was just enough that I saw the spot, I caught an asp so it was just perfect. Now I will be going for the third spot, but first I just have to reach my car and do all this piece of bank over here. So let's go for the third spot now. I did it guys. I somehow reached the third spot and you don't want to know how hard it was to get here. Unfortunately, the Po River it's quite dry and the spot it's not even close to how it looked on uh, Google Maps. I fished for almost an hour all this area over here without getting any single bite or without seeing any fish. Now it's kind of late so I will just end uh, this session here. Hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one and bye bye.